Hello everyone. Welcome back. In this session, I am going to discuss about the hydrogen production by electrolysis. There are different methods of production of the hydrogen are there. In that, one of the method is electrolysis. And that method I am going to discuss in this session. Here, this is the setup of the electrolysis method. And in this mainly consist of the two electrodes, one is anode, another one is cathode. And to that, the to supply the power, that is the DC power supply, the battery is used. Then electrolyte is used to facilitate the whatever the electrolytic uh, reactions are taking place in order to split the water molecules into the hydrogen and the oxygen and the, the container for that one. For the industrial application of the hydrogen utilization, mostly this type of the, the method for the hydrogen production is used. And that method explanation, what is there? Here, whenever we will supply the electricity to this one and this electrolyte, whatever we are going to use, that splits the hydrogen into the oxygen and the hydrogen. Then hydrogen whatever is there that is moved towards the cathode and it is collected at cathode and that is supplied. And the oxygen whatever is there that is moved towards the anode and that is collected and supplied. Okay, here the splitting of the water molecules into this one initially into the some other that is a OH and H like that and later those are formed into the hydrogen and the oxygen and these reactions I am going to discuss in the later okay like this in this way by using the electricity we are going to split the water into a hydrogen and the oxygen molecules and that can be used as a potential fuel then i will take the explanation about this one also the electrolysis of water is widely used in the industrial preparation of hydrogen the important components of electrolytic setup are electrodes electrolyte electrolytic cell and the battery these are the main components here the water is decomposed into hydrogen and oxygen with the help of electricity the electricity breaks the bond between the hydrogen and the oxygen and thereby splitting will be taking place during the process hydrogen is produced at the cathode and oxygen is generated from the anode the continuation with this one the resulting migration of ions in the solution results in the production of the hydrogen at cathode and oxygen at the anode according to the following equation. The cathode reaction is that the four molecules of water combines with the four electrons and formation of the two molecules of hydrogen and four molecules of OH. An anode reaction what are taking place? Those are four OH molecules splits into the two molecules of oxygen and forms a two molecules of water and four electrons also. This is the what the reactions which are taking place at the cathode and the anode during the that electrolysis process after supplying the electricity to that. In a proton exchange membrane PM electrolyzer, the PM electrolyzer if you use that one, the reactions what are taking place. In this case, the reactions at the anode electrodes are as follows. Cathode reaction is taking place, that is the four molecules of hydrogen combined with the four electrons to form a two molecules of hydrogen. And anode reactions, here the two molecules of water splits into one molecules of oxygen and four molecules of hydrogen and four electrons. And here, the currently the best conversion efficiency is the elect electrolysis that is overall system efficiency for converting electrical power to power stored as hydrogen that is the overall conversion efficiency and for the commercial electrolyzers is approximately 70 percent this electrolysis conversion efficiency whatever is there it is approximately about 70 percent is a good efficiency and for that reason we can use this electrolysis process for production of the 
hydrogen and the hydrogen can be used as the industrial fuel or as some other industrial applications thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment